Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you an update on my big year-end project pan. So back in September, I picked out 25 products that I wanted to finish by the end of the year, and this is in addition to my makeup rolling project 10 pan. I was just kind of realizing I had a lot of clutter in my bathroom products, hair care products, things like that, so I just wanted to clear as many things out as I could before the end of the year. And a lot of you guys asked for a halfway update, so that's what we're gonna do, and then I think I will also have a finale final update at the end of the year. So out of these 25 items, I have now finished nine of them, and then I also did declutter one. So I'll go ahead and share what those are, and then I'll share updates on the products that are still remaining. So the one product that I did end up decluttering was the Babo Botanicals Daily Sheer Tinted Sunscreen. I used that all of two times before I realized that it broke me out, and it broke me out pretty badly. My skin was in bad shape for about two weeks after that. Um, I think it was because it did contain coconut oil and that has just solidified for me that I really need to stay away from products that contain coconut oil for the face because boy did it wreak havoc on my skin. So I went ahead and decluttered that. I already gave it away. I gave it away to someone in my local Buy Nothing Facebook group so hopefully that person is enjoying it more than I did. I did warn them that it broke me out but hopefully their skin is not as sensitive to coconut oil as mine is. So. That is gone, it has been rehomed. Now I'll go ahead and share the products that I finished. If you've been watching my empties videos, then you've already seen some sneak peeks of these things. So I'll just kind of list them quickly and then if you do want to hear like a thorough review on them, I will leave my empties linked down below. Most of them were from my most recent empties and then one of them was in my empties in October. The first one I used up was the Versed Skin Soak Moisturizer. That one I ended up throwing out because I forgot I would want to show it to you guys in this video, but that one is empty. And then the other moisturizer that I wanted to use up was the Polish Choice Replenishing Moisturizer. This is also now empty. It cut it open to get everything out of there. I started right about here, so I had maybe half of it left, and this I was using for a good month or so. Um, so that is finally done. The first one I finished within like a week or two of starting this project pan. So that was that was kind of an easy one, but happy to have those two moisturizers out of my stash now. I also used up the Coco Kind Daily SPF. Um, I had just about that much left, so there wasn't a ton left in here, and I do go through face sunscreens pretty quickly. I also grew to really not love this, so I'm also happy to have this done. I also finished up the Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. This I really didn't have much left, but this took so many uses to finish. There's actually a little bit left it's leaking out of it right now. And I used prescription tretinoin on my face, so this I was just using on my neck as kind of like a anti-aging neck serum because I just don't need this on my face anymore. And yeah, I got a lot of bang for my buck with this. Even though it looks like a pretty small tube, this lasted me so long. A little goes a long way with this, so that is done. Glad to have that done because I just don't really need a retinol serum. Maybe I would get back to using retinol on my neck in the future, but I don't really feel like I need that extra step that badly right now. I also finished the Paula's Choice Lip and Body Treatment Balm. I love this stuff. This was another bang for your buck product. This also lasted me a very long time. I just have a lot of other lip balms that I would like to use up, so this was kind of the next one that I wanted to get phased out. The Live Clean Body Lotion is done as well. This one I started with that much, so there really wasn't that much left. And luckily it was pretty easy to get everything out of here because the pump goes all the way down to the bottom and it was a thin enough formula that most of it came out and then towards the end I did turn it upside down so that I could just get every last bit out of there so I didn't even have to like use a spatula or anything. There's like a tiny bit down at, at the bottom like along the sides but it's really not even like a usable amount so happy to have that done as well. Also just today I finished up the, it was in this jar, but it was a mixture of actually this lotion and some liquid highlighter. It was the Cloven Halo liquid highlighter that I really didn't love on my face, so I used it up by mixing it with lotion for a glowy body lotion. This I just finished today, so that is done. This was just sitting on my bathroom counter for so long, so it feels really good to have that moved out. This was an easy one to finish, the Kapari California Glow Enzyme Scrub. I used this as a body scrub, even though it's meant for the face, so because it's meant for the face, there's really not... A ton in here so I went through it within about probably three or four uses. This was honestly a little bit too gentle for the body because it's like a very fine scrub that would probably be good for the face if you do like using a gentle scrub on your face. And then I also finished up this mini Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter. I used this up as a hand cream. I just kept it on my desk in here and that was how I used it up. So that is all done. So those are the nine items I finished plus the one that I decided to declutter and I am now left with 15 items 
in this project pan. So I've still got my work cut out for me for the rest of the year. Most of these I do think I will be able to finish by the end of the year. So let's go ahead and share some updates on the remaining products. So there were two makeup items that I threw into this project pan. These are just two things I don't want to bring with me into 2022. First is the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara Mini. Really just trying to use this as much as possible because I don't love this. Um, I use it on just my top lashes because if I use it on my bottom lashes, it smudges really badly. I still get a little bit of smudging with it on the top, but I just kind of opt for this on days where I'm not going to be like outside a lot or sweating a lot, things like that. Less active days, so that is how I've been using it, and I do think I'm on track to have this finished by the end of December. And then I also have my Jordana Feather Brow Gel. This is definitely starting to run low. I'm really having to kind of scrape around in there, and I've had this for a long time, so I think by the end of December I will be ready to call it done. Hopefully even sooner though. I'm guessing I'll probably be done with this by the end of November. That's my guess because I've been using it just about every single day in my brows. So then we have another sunscreen. This is a mineral sunscreen from Baba Botanicals and it is their clear zinc sunscreen with SPF 30. So this technically expired in March of 2021. So I've just been using this as more of a body sunscreen for when I'm indoors. I don't use this when I'm going to be outside for like actual true sun protection, but um, I'm also just trying to get in the habit of actually wearing sunscreen on my body even when I'm indoors because I do keep my blinds open and it's a good habit to get into. Honestly, I felt like I hadn't been using this very much, but look at my progress. I am almost done. So I'm definitely on track to be done with this really sooner than I thought. I thought I had a lot more, but then when I went to check it today, there's really not much left. All right, I've got two face sunscreens. Both of these are chemical sunscreens. Now, I have discovered that at least right now, anytime I try to wear chemical sunscreens, they irritate my face pretty badly. I think it probably just has to do with the fact that my skin has been a lot more sensitive ever since I started using tretinoin. Mineral sunscreens don't bother me at all, but chemical sunscreens really do seem to kind of sting my skin and just sensitize them a lot. So I have not been using these a ton. My boyfriend also likes both of these, and he actually prefers chemical sunscreens on his face, so he might be the one helping me finish these off. But I have the Garnier Canopy SPF 30 and the Paula's Choice Clear Ultra Light Daily Hydrating Fluid Mini. This one, really not much left in here. And same with the Garnier, I mean, that's how much is left. So um, I can also use these up on my body or maybe even on my neck, but on the face, I can't use them. So I'm glad to have seen as much progress as I did. I have used them on my face a few times since I started this project pan just because I was trying to see if I could <laughs> get away with using them, but I think from now on, especially with the winter, my skin's getting dry, I'm just going to probably have to stay away from chemical sunscreens for now, which sucks because I do love chemical sunscreens just because there's never any white cast with these, but unfortunately my skin just does not seem to want to tolerate them right now. But I do still think that these can be done by the end of the year if my boyfriend continues to use them, and I'll also try to use them like on my body skin if I need to. This is the only product I have not used at all, so I need to ugh, I need to try to use this more. But this is the Pacifica SPF 45 Set and Protect Matte Sheer Setting Mist. So I really don't like this on my face. It's kind of meant to be a face setting spray, but it's so strongly scented and it really causes my makeup to break down. So I was planning on using this as a body sunscreen, but because I'm also trying to use up the Babo one, I'd kind of said I would use this once I was done with this one, and this one is still not done. So this is a chemical sunscreen and it expires at the end of December, so that's why I want to have this finished. I'm a little more hesitant to use chemical sunscreens past their expiration date because from what I've heard, those do degrade a lot more than mineral sunscreens do by the expiration date. So I'm going to try to use this. Problem is, I don't really, I've been wearing a lot more long sleeves lately as it's gotten colder, and so I don't really have much of a need for sunscreen on my body these days, so I might not finish this. This is one of about two or three products that I am pretty sure are not going to be finished by the end of the year, but that's okay. At least I, at least I'm trying, <laughs> kind of. Okay, this one is really close to being done. This is the Ordinary Argeroline Solution 10%. 
I only have a little bit left in here and it's definitely getting harder to get any in the dropper. I don't really notice much of a difference with this. It's supposed to like really smooth out fine lines on your forehead and around your eye area. I don't notice a huge difference with it so I will be happy to have this gone so I can move on to other serums but um, that I use probably like three to four mornings per week. And then the other serum that I'm working on, and I feel like I've been using this a lot, but I've, I've made very little progress on it. This is the Pharmacy Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. I almost feel like I've been using this even more than the ordinary one, but look how little <laughs> progress I've made. But this has been really good, especially as my skin's been getting even more dry. Um, I've been using this in the morning. I basically alternate between these two for my morning serum. So... I'm not sure if this will be done by the end of the year, but I certainly am using it, so. Then I have the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, and this is a mini. I didn't realize um, this mini, I was saying how overpriced this was in my last video. I said that this was $50, but it turns out this smaller size is $25, and then the, the bigger size is $50. It's still very expensive for this little tube, and this does nothing for my face. It's essentially an overnight mask. Um, you can like wipe it off with a tissue if you want to, but you can also just leave it on your face all night like an overnight mask. So it's essentially an extra rich face cream, which sounds great. I typically love this kind of thing, but I used this once at the beginning when I first started this Project Pan. And once it sunk into my skin, my skin just immediately went back to feeling dry and tight and like stripped as if I had just cleansed it with like a harsh <laughs> stripping cleanser. I could not believe it. So instead, I'm, I'm just not going to use this on my face. I've been using it as a hand cream instead. I've just been keeping it on my coffee table. So like at night if I'm on the couch watching TV, that's typically when I put this on. I've also used it as a foot cream a couple times. And using it that way, I've actually been able to make uh, a lot of progress. So I'm thinking, because I'm always applying hand cream to my hands, I don't think this will be too hard to finish before the end of the year. But what a what a silly thing. I can't believe how little this does for my skin. If anything, I felt like my face skin was even more dry after I used this. But luckily as a hand cream, I feel like it actually works pretty well. It actually moisturizes my hands. So I don't know what that's all about. I guess my face skin just needs a lot more moisture than this can give. The other mask is more of a wash off mask. This is the Versed Look Alive Hydrating Plumping Mask. And <laughs> this says it has 12 plus applications in it, this little pouch. And one of you guys told me that you got way more than 12 applications out of this. And I'm starting to see why because I think I've used this, I haven't used it a ton. I think I've used it two or three times in this project pan so far, which I would like to be using it more than that. So I'm going to try to use it more, but I really have not used much of it. Like, there is still so much in here. I really don't need to use a whole lot of this at a time. So I am not sure if this will be done before the end of the project, but at least I am encouraging myself to use it more than I otherwise would have. And I do think this will be coming in clutch in these colder winter weather months. Then we have this Trader Joe's Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Hair Serum and this was actually in last year's Skin and Hair Care Project Pan as well and I have been using it a lot more. My hair is much longer than it was last year. Last year I struggled to make any progress on this but I've been using it or been trying to use it every day after I get out of the shower and I really do notice a difference with this. This is actually very hydrating. It makes my hair feel just extra soft and looks extra shiny so I really enjoy this and this is where we started in September and this is where we are now at the halfway point so it's looking like at this rate I should be able to finish this by the end of this project pan which is great because I've had this for a very long time. <laughs> Alright then a couple of bath products. The main reason I decided to put these into this project pan was just to try to push myself to take baths more often because I really enjoy them. It's kind of just like a self-care thing for me. So that was the main reason I put these in and I have only used each of these once. So I've only taken one bath since I started this project pan. I would like to increase that a bit, but either way, first I have the Soothing Touch Tuscan Bouquet bath salts and I did use a lot of these in that one bath. With bath salts, I tend to pour a lot in. I don't know, maybe I put even more than I needed, but that's how much I used up, so I probably have one or two more uses left in here. 
And then the Aura Acacia Lavender Bubble Bath. Even only using it once, I did make some pretty good progress. So one, two, three, four. So if that's one bath, there's probably about four or five more uses left in here. So hopefully I can take four or five more baths before the end of the year. That's about one per week. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my best. All right, and then the final two products are both from Kopari. First I have their Coconut Body Milk, which is a body lotion. And I really only started using this all over my body once I finished the Live Clean one, and I only just finished this one like a week ago. So that's why I haven't made like a ton of progress on this, but this being my sole body lotion now, I definitely think this will be done by the end of the year because this is a pretty small bottle. It's only 8.45 fluid ounces, so it's not a whole lot. And for comparison, the Live Clean one was 18, so more than double the size of this. So. I don't think that'll be a problem. And then the final product I'm realizing is probably not going to be finished, but that's okay. It's the Kopari Pink Souffle Body Mask. So I was talking about in the intro to this project pan how I kind of thought this was a gimmick and that it was just a hassle to use. They say that you're supposed to apply this to clean skin, so I figured that meant like after you've showered, you put this on and then you have to rinse it off, which just, it's way too much work. Like once I'm out of the shower, I just want to be done. But one of you guys was saying to just apply it to my skin before I shower, and I, okay, I've only used it once so far, but I also recently heard Kelly Gooch talking about how much she likes this, and that kind of got me thinking, hmm, like maybe I need to give it another chance, and I used it on my upper back and my chest where I do get a little bit of acne, not terrible, but I had some like slight breakouts there, and she was saying that she kind of uses it for that purpose too. And once she gets out of the shower, her skin is so smooth. And so I gave it another chance and just used it as almost like a body acne mask. And when I got out of the shower, my, I swear my acne was just gone on my like upper back. So I think I've changed my mind about this. Do I think it's like a necessity for me? No, but I will be enjoying this. Obviously this is a pretty big tub and this is how much I have left. You can, you, they say you can use it all over your body. I just don't really feel like I need to be putting this on like my legs. They say you can put it on your legs, your butt, your back, your boobs, your belly, <laughs> basically anywhere. But the only place I feel like I would really need this is like my chest and back. So I probably won't be done with this by the end of the year, but I am gonna be using it more now that I, I kind of do see the usefulness of it now. So those are my updates on these products. I was hoping to have like half of them done by this point, but I feel like having nine done now is still pretty good. And I'm left with 15, which I think is doable. Like I said, there are really three items that I don't think are gonna be done. And that is these three, the Kapari body mask, the Versed mask, and the Pacifica SPF spray. But everything else I can definitely see being done by the end of the year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this halfway update. I will definitely come back for an end of the year like finale to share everything I finished. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. I'll also leave my makeup project pan, like my main project pan that I do all throughout the year, linked down below if you're interested in watching that. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye. Thank you.